new horizon and a day and all came true Keller Williams you make dreams come true You're listening to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. And here's Russ. Hey, welcome back to Home Sweet Home with Russ McClellan and friends. I appreciate everybody tuning in. I want everybody to smile. You know, it's very difficult to be unhappy and smile at the same time. It's because your brain doesn't understand it. The chemicals in your brain, right? Serotonin, dopamine. That stuff's released when you put out the, the verbal word or facial expressions or body language. Believe it or not, it's a real deal. So here's a little tip if you're doing business. Get up. Don't sit down when you talk. You'd be amazed at the difference in what can happen in your voice and flexions and all that jazz. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm talking a little bit of uh, real estate with my friends, Brooke and Bella Fritz. Um, and it's exciting because Brooke and Bella, you, and the last time you talked about you have been investors a long time. You're, you love passive income, but I'm pretty sure that just didn't happen like, you know, went into the lotto, right? Like it was a hard work and through the, you know, dot com, dot gone era where you said you lost some cashola like everybody else in the world that at that time, all the way through the great recession of 2008. And then fast forward to 2020 here in the land of COVID. I'd love to hear how real estate, you used the word in the last segment, salvation. You also talked about mindset how we all often, frankly, preach, for lack of a better word, but I kind of am proud of it, that we preach abundance, meaning we don't have, for us to win, other people don't have to lose, right? And that's why we've grown to almost 70 agents and climbing and have massive goals in the future. So Brooke, how does it feel to be one of almost 70 agents at Keller Williams, and you've been with us just over a year? What do you mean by salvation? Well, great question, Russ. Uh, I love people. I have a construction background, Bella's a visual creative, and all of these things over time have evolved into getting my license. It just made sense for me in my life. Uh, hindsight, sure, I, I should have done it seven to ten years ago, but I did when I did, got my license. And I'll be honest with you, I was uh, recommended by one of our wedding clients to really consider Keller Williams. Uh, over any of the other branches. I had my choice. You know, there's plenty of good brokerages out there, but I really respected my client, his philosophy, his work ethic, absolutely, you know, as honest as they come, uh, a producer, uh, honest and ethical, and that means the world to Bella and I. And so that's when I came and, and interviewed with uh, with Taylor and uh, already knew some of the other uh, brokers there, as you know, and it just, that was a no-brainer. But one of the things that really caught my attention with, uh, with KW is the training, the education, the tools like command database and so forth and the online sessions and the, the teamwork. teamwork. Yeah, I, thank you, Bella. I mean, I'll be honest with you, Russ. I came from a cutthroat, race to the bottom, cheapest price wins, you know, even within the same office, we were competing with each other for sales and clients. Whereas for the first time in my adult life, it's still sales, but I am actually working in a cooperative environment with the listing broker or the buyer's broker because we all have the same goal to close. That's, I find that refreshing and unique. And yes, we're doing our level best to provide the highest level of service for our clients and representing them and and but we both know that it's like okay so you know let's meet in the middle what do we need to do to get this to close and i find that so invigorating and so refreshing and unique to be in a cooperative uh environment i really don't know of any other any other uh industries that really are that way yeah, well, let me ask you something. As you guys uh, dove in this to this as a couple, and you got your real estate license, 
And I agree with you 100%. We could play the woulda, coulda, shoulda game all day long, right? And Yogi Berra, right. you know, famous uh, coach once upon a time said, predicting things is very, very difficult, especially about the future, right? And I always love that quote because to me, you know, I often say the rear view mirror in your car is little and the front windshield's big for a reason, right? Yep. <laughs> Let, let's learn That's from the right. past and uh, let's have fun with it and let's reflect on the past and focus on the positives and the things we've learned and the great times that we've had because memories are are cherished and what bella does is a good example of that like you know snapshot in time capturing emotion through photography but you know as we look forward and you sat there and got your real estate license can you describe if it's possible like the feeling that you had well if we're talking to somebody right now that's listening that is struggling that's maybe unemployed right I like to say, if you've been furloughed without your permission by your boss, right? right? If that's right. happened, because, you know, there's going to be some tremendous casualties. You know, you just can't lock down small businesses for as long as we have, no matter what you believe politically or the reasons why. It doesn't really matter to the extent that I'm making a point that there are going to be casualties in business. And that is the trickle down economic effect where, you know, a restaurant goes out of business. Well, the servers are now unemployed. And when you look around... And all of a sudden, there's not a lot of options for people because this is a world pandemic, not not just a local issue. There, There's going to be some challenges to just go falling back to doing any job to make a little cash like, you know, bartending or working, you know, odd job. It's just harder. Right. So when you think about it and you think about real estate a year ago compared to now, what were some of the apprehensions that maybe or myths that you heard or things that you could share with somebody thinking about maybe getting into real estate like you did? And now you've been in our firm just over a year. So compared to what you thought or somebody else might be thinking versus reality, could you, can you describe that? Sure. Well, you know, the, the first step of that was, uh, finding a good online course, uh, and you know start studying and i hadn't studied like that since college so that was a personal challenge uh and uh, a time management pursuit and uh that was invigorating in itself it's like man i haven't studied like this but to, to stimulate the brain is, is great at the same time you're also realizing wow there's a lot to learn here and a lot of this is legal based um am i getting in over my head well you know what there's plenty of people that are doing this, so go for it. The, the One of the myths that I think was a little bit uh, kind of like, I don't know, it seems like everybody and their brother has their license. And so kind of like people with cell phones, they think they're a photographer because their friend said, oh, you took the best sunset I've ever seen from your iPhone or whatever, you know. So I, I don't listen to those naysayers or myths because this is personal. You know, we're independent brokers by title and, and by our profession. So this is my franchise. I happen to be very fortunate to be under the KW umbrella, which is, you know, a huge part of my success. But, you know, I just had to focus on getting the license and, uh, you know, passing the course and then as learning as much as possible, as quickly as possible, because, you know, uh, with the the, the COVID with the wedding uh, photography industry uh, postponed until next year, hopefully, you know, uh, I needed to hit the ground running and uh, take, you know, the license was just a, a formality, if you will. The real learning comes once you sign up with a, a brokerage like Keller Williams and uh, so grateful for the team mentality because They'll, you'll have a thousand and one questions and they're, none of them are stupid. They're all valid. Yeah, so, there, there's an infinite, right? There's an infinite number of scenarios and, and you, we, we teach fundamentals, of course, but life experience and, and that's why, you know, we often say fail fast, fail aggressively, fail forward because failing forward just simply means you learn. And one thing, you know, I've been in real estate 32 years, which is uh, feels like, you know, 10 million hours. Um, but, you know, when you talk about the 10,000 hour rule, when you develop mastery, what I've learned is mastery simply means that I've got to a point in real estate after three decades and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in sales in my career that I don't really know very much. <laughs> you know, you just kind of, you just kind of learn that I'm just kind of a speck, man. The world's an infinite place of infinite knowledge. And, and then you invert that. And that's part of the excitement because it's not, you're not just punching a clock, doing your time. 
Exactly. That, you know, and life's so precious. You know, one of my biggest fears has always been that I'm going to have to do time, right? <laughs> Nine to five on something I don't want to do. And then the next thing I know, I wake up and I'm 80 years old and full of regrets. And you know what? I don't want to be full of regrets. And that's what I love about, I said earlier in the first segment about you guys, your enthusiasm and your positivity is just, I'm so grateful for it to be around you, right? I mean, and that's the key. Um, because you do influence other people, whether you guys know it or not. And this is just a year in, right? Not that we're so old. You know, we've had, this is our second full calendar year. And we've gone to, I think, I don't know, third in the marketplace and number one in agent count and almost 100%, almost 100% above our first full calendar year. So we're profit sharing at a very, very high level now. Um, it's kind of exciting. In fact, uh, every 21st of the month, if you're, if you're helping grow our firm and those people are making some money, you get bonused. So kind of back to my question, like compared to when you started, Maybe you could do this. What are some of the ch what were some of the challenges that you uh, expect? We got about a minute left in this segment, so you know maybe just briefly talk about some of the challenges, and then when we come back, we can talk about how we solve them. You bet. Uh, just your your own personal mindset of uh, fear, and that might be fear of success, uh, just fear of, of reaching out to strangers, uh, and um, time management. You know, there were some challenges there because of trying to do side hustles to, you know, pay for things and keep the lights on and stuff like that. But uh, I think we are all kind of create our, our own biggest hurdles. And I want to encourage anyone that's considering uh, getting the real estate license. Absolutely. Go for it. It, it. Yeah, I can't stress it enough. You think about how many agents there might be out there. That is actually completely irrelevant there's only one you and you're going to attract a clientele that you might have in your life for the rest of your life we're actually getting repeat business russ in, within a year and yeah, that's, that's I amazing man. get that i feel so blessed i mean bell and i are, are eternally grateful for every day for one thing and and grounded in our faith and we uh are just grateful in that attitude of gratitude i think sounds like it we're it's projecting and um you know pay it forward uh i don't know it's great man and when we come back hey you know what i'm sure anybody can call you and you'll talk to them about this right uh absolutely your number is 206-681-7377 when we come back let's talk some more with brooke and bella fritz about how real estate changed their lives to get them the life they want and deserve keller williams you make dreams come true. 